Meet Taylor. She's from Canada and she's planning on visiting Paris as soon as we can start traveling again. She will only stay for a couple of days, so she has to make the best of it and plan her journey very well. She's also learning some French and her goal is to be able to speak with locals. Do you recognize yourself in this description? If so, keep on watching because in this video you will learn how to say the 10 most famous places in Paris and those names will help you practice your favorite French letter, the sexy R. And if you're having a hard time with this letter, I recommend you watch first this video and come back here after that. Halaf, learn French the fun way. Hi guys, I'm Lily and welcome back to my channel Palaf, where I teach you French pronunciation to help you speak and understand real French. Make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell to get notified each time I release a new video on that topic every single Sunday. All right, let's dive into today's video. I'm gonna teach you how to say the 10 most famous places in Paris. And I don't know about you, but for me, there's nothing more frustrating than talking to someone local about a famous place in their country and seeing that they don't know what the heck I'm talking about. And make sure to stay until the end of this video because I will teach you how to ask for a direction. You know, just in case you get lost. And if you're interested in getting more information about the places I'm talking about in this video, I will leave all the links in the description below. Number 10. La Tour Montparnasse. Can you repeat it? La Tour Montparnasse. La Tour Montparnasse. And as Tour is a feminine noun, then it's preceded by La. La Tour. La Tour. Montparnasse is the name of the tower, La Tour Montparnasse. And if you're wondering what is this weird writing I'm always using in my videos, it's actually the phonetics from the International Phonetic Alphabet. If you want to be more effective, you should first get familiar with the French International Phonetic Alphabet, which will help you understand better how we pronounce the words. So what is La Tour Montparnasse and why would you visit it? Well, until 2011, it was the highest skyscraper in Paris. You can also access its terrace to get an amazing panoramic view over Paris. Number nine, l'Opéra Garnier. L'Opéra Garnier. L'Opéra Garnier. Can you repeat it? L'Opéra Garnier. L'Opéra Garnier. L'Opéra Opéra gagné. So, opéra is a masculine noun in French, and as it begins with a vowel, the definite article that would precede it is l, not le, but l. L'opéra. L'opéra Garnier. So, what about the Opéra Garnier and why would you visit it? Well, first, it's one of the most beautiful opera house in the world. It's very elegant and its architecture is a masterpiece. It was inaugurated in 1875 at the request of Napoleon III, so there's a lot of history here. Number eight, Le Moulin Rouge. Le Moulin Rouge. Le Moulin Rouge. As Moulin is the masculine noun in French and it starts with a consonant, then the definite article is le. Le Moulin. Le Moulin Rouge. Can you repeat it? Le, le, le Moulin Rouge. Le Moulin Rouge. I'm sure you've heard of the Moulin Rouge before. Or maybe you even watched the movie with Nicole Kidman. <laughs> So as you may know, it's the most famous French cabaret, also known for the French Cancan. And as a tourist, you can visit it and enjoy a very entertaining musical show. Number seven, Le Jardin des Tuileries. Le Jardin des Tuileries. Le Jardin des Tuileries. So as we mentioned, Jardin is a masculine noun beginning with a consonant. So the definite article that precedes it is le, le jardin, le jardin, which means the garden, le jardin. And the name of the garden is Tuileries, le jardin des Tuileries. 
Can you repeat it? For me, personally, it's my second favorite garden in Paris and you will see my favorite one in a bit. It's a public garden, totally free, and it's very well located since it's just in front of the Louvre. Wait, the what? Number six, Le Musée du Louvre, also known as Le Louvre. Le Musée du Louvre ou Le Louvre. Le Louvre. Can you repeat it? Le Louvre, la Musée du Louvre. Well, I don't believe there's any need to describe it here. Le Musée du Louvre, I think you know what it is. Le Louvre is one of the most famous museums in the world. But some vocabulary that might be useful to you is about the monument that is right in front of the entrance of the museum, which is la pyramide du Louvre. La pyramide du Louvre. La pyramide du Louvre. Can you repeat it? Number five. Le jardin du Luxembourg. Le jardin du Luxembourg. Le jardin du Luxembourg. Can you repeat it? Le jardin de Lux Luxembourg. <laughs> Luxembourg. <laughs> Le jardin de Luxembourg. <laughs> Le jardin du Luxembourg. This one is my favorite garden in Paris. I just love it. It's beautiful. It has wonderful flowers. You can just walk around or relax in front of the French Senate and it's a beautiful scenery. It's totally free. You don't want to miss it. Number four, Notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame de Paris. Also known only as Notre Dame. Notre Dame is Our Lady. Notre Dame. Notice that notre is not notre, but notre. The O is open and not closed. We don't say Notre Dame, we say Notre Dame. No, Notre Dame. Can you repeat it? Notre, de, notre Dame de Paris. Notre Dame. Notre Dame de Paris. So as you may know, it's almost famous French Catholic cathedral. It's located in Lille de la Cité, the little island right in the middle of Paris. You probably saw that the cathedral caught fire in 2019 and that part of the roof was destroyed, but hopefully they will reconstruct it right before the Olympic Games in Paris in 2024. Number three, l'Arc de Triomphe. L'Arc de Triomphe. L'Arc de Triomphe. Arc de Triomphe. L'Arc de Triomphe is located in the famous place in Paris, Les Champs-Élysées. Les Champs-Élysées. Les Champs-Élysées. Les Champs-Élysées. We don't say Les Champs-Élysées. The P is not pronounced, it's Les Champs-Élysées. Can you repeat it? Champs-Élysées. <laughs> and I don't know if you know it, but you can actually access the top of the Arc de Triomphe and have a beautiful view over the city. And talking about viewpoints, here comes number two, La Tour Eiffel. La Tour Eiffel. Well, actually it's more La Tour Eiffel. La Tour Eiffel. We link it. La Tour Eiffel. Can you repeat it? La Tour Eiffel. La Tour Eiffel. Eh. La Tour Eiffel. La Tour Eiffel, the highest viewpoint in Paris, is located in Les Champs de Mars. Les Champs de Mars, which is the green area just in front of the tower. And another word that you might want to be able to pronounce correctly is trocadéro. 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 Which is another point where you can get access to the Eiffel Tower. It's just the place in front of the Eiffel Tower that gets you access to it from the metro. Trocadéro. Number one, Montmartre ou le Sacré-Cœur. Montmartre. 
Mmh, mat. <rire> Mon mat. Mon mat. Mon mat. Le sacré cœur. Le sacré cœur. Le sacré cœur. So Montmartre is the name of the area. Area, area, area. The name of the area. There you can find the French basilic Le Sacré Cœur, which is completely free. Montmartre is the highest hill in Paris, which will get you access to a beautiful, wonderful view over Paris. And it's perfect for sunset. After all, Paris is the city of love, right? Or is it the city of lights? Or both? I'm confused. All right, so now let's see together the most important vocabulary that you will need in case you get lost in Paris. First, in case you want to ask someone in the streets that you don't know, you should say, Excusez-moi. Excusez-moi. Then you can use, S'il vous plaît. S'il vous plaît. So together it will be Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. And then you can ask Vous pouvez m'aider? Vous pouvez m'aider? Can you repeat it? Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Vous pouvez m'aider? So together it will be Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Vous pouvez m'aider? Or you can actually say the other way Excusez-moi, vous pouvez m'aider? S'il vous plaît. Then you have a lot of different options to ask people for a direction. But let's see some easiest ones together. So first you can use the verb je cherche, which is I'm looking for, je cherche, and then the thing or the place you're looking for. Je cherche la tour Eiffel. Or you can ask où se trouve, which is where is, where can I find, où se trouve. Où se trouve, où se trouve, uh, où se trouve, le Louvre. Okay, so you can use je cherche, or où se trouve, or even both together. Je cherche où se trouve la tour Eiffel. Je cherche où se trouve la tour Eiffel. So let's see from the beginning. Excusez-moi, vous pouvez m'aider s'il vous plaît? Je cherche... Où se trouve la tour Eiffel? Can you repeat it? You can also ask how to go. Comment aller? Comment aller? So here you can use comment aller and then the name of the place you want to go to. Okay? And you can combine it with je cherche. Je cherche comment aller aux Champs Élysées. <laughs> okay? So from the beginning, excusez-moi. Vous pouvez m'aider s'il vous plaît? Je cherche comment aller à la Tour Eiffel. You can also ask, can you tell me? Vous pouvez me dire, vous pouvez me dire comment aller à la Tour Eiffel. Can you repeat it? Excusez-moi, s'il vous plaît. Vous pouvez me dire comment aller à la Tour Eiffel. Vous pouvez me dire comment aller au Louvre. Uh, vous pouvez me dire comment aller au Louvre. And don't forget to thank them. <laughs> Merci beaucoup. Merci beaucoup. Oui, bien sûr, avec plaisir. Je vais vous aider. Regardez, c'est très simple. Vous prenez la deuxième à gauche. Ensuite, vous continuez tout droit. Au troisième feu, vous prenez à droite. Vous arrivez sur les quais, vous les longez sur une centaine de mètres et ensuite vous allez tomber dessus, vous ne pourrez pas le louper. So being able to ask for direction is a good thing, but sometimes the hardest thing is actually to understand the answer that is given to you. Maybe having a pen and a piece of paper with you will save you lots of trouble, but what will actually really help you would be to be able to understand fast spoken French, to understand how real French people speak, and for that Getting familiar with French pronunciation will help you a lot. That's exactly what I'm meaning to teach you in this channel, Palaf. So if you're interested in that, give this video a like, say hi in the comments below, and don't forget to subscribe and to hit that notification bell to get notified each time I release a new video on that topic every single Sunday. Good luck with your French pronunciation and I will see you in the next one. Luxembourg. 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 Luxembourg.